Good morning, my friend, and welcome to day 26 of the 3030 challenge. Quick question for you. How many of you have ever been in an earthquake? In 1984, when I moved from Wisconsin to San Diego for a 10 year stretch, uh, we definitely had our share of Southern California earthquakes. And in 89, I was uh, up in the Bay Area for business. And yes, it was of the week of the World Series in the 89 earthquake. Uh, if you remember the Cypress overpass um, that collapsed. Now this was, you know, late afternoon, 5, 8, 5 p.m. ish. And I was on that at 10 a.m. Um, it was the time of my life where I was rocked. And... Whenever you have that moment of, am I going to live? Um, when you see buildings swaying, I did not have a firm foundation of God in my life. In fact, he was nowhere to be found uh, in my journey at that time. So as we dive into to Psalm 26, um, it's really a, it's a reminder for me. All right. And as we look at chapter 26, I'm going to go dive into verse 12. And this is what it says. My feet stand on level ground. In the great assembly, I will praise the Lord. So that's my G. All right. As we grip the word, I want to move down to the R. And my R is my feet stand on the solid rock of Christ. His name is so worthy to be praised. Now, as I drop down to the I for the implementation, I need to bust through any comfort zone when it comes to praising the Lord. And I don't know about you, but there's times when life is really good, but it's going great. And I can praise God. In fact, I can even put my arm in the air, my hands to the heavens, Say, God, you are an amazing God. But when the trials of life come, and friends, we know they will come. My hand stays more down and looking up going, God, what are you doing? And I've been challenged throughout the previous years for sure. Of it does not matter what the news is, if it's bad or good, God is still worthy to be praised. It cannot be conditional. My prayer back to the Lord is, Lord, you are so worthy to be praised. Thank you for being the solid foundation that I build my life upon. And I pray that there's some encouragement for you in that because when the life trials and the tribulations and the unexpected happens, for me personally, guys, the only way I can make it through those is in with my faith and being on the solid foundation of my faith. There's no other way to go through unexpected deaths, uh, the trials that come in marriage, the trials that come in parenting, the trials that come in business and even in ministry, uh, only by the foundation of my faith am I able to persevere through that. So I would love to hear which verse came up for you. And let's go ahead and let me just close out our time collectively with a word of prayer. This one is continued re reminder for me of where am I building my foundation on, all right? Heavenly Father, Lord, we uh, come to just bow before you, God. You're an amazing God. You're an awesome God. Lord, we praise your holy name. And Lord, I just ask that continue as we open up your living word, God, you would speak to us. And Lord, not that we just hear it, but Lord, that you would take it into our hearts, that we could walk out the words that we read each and every day as we spend time with you. Lord, we love you, and we thank you in the mighty, most powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I will see you bright and early in the morning.